Grotesquery is the craziest TV show I have ever been a part of. The end is here. Something is happening. You hate all evildoers. We can't prepare the audience for this show. I want to remove the cancer from their souls. Strap on your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride. What's his name? Grotesquery. Grotesquery is a murder mystery brought to you by the mind of Ryan Murphy. Where's the blood, Jack? Drained. The heartbeat of the show is about a detective who is battling her own demons while also trying to solve these ritualistic murders that are taking over a small desert community. You have to really hate people to do something like this. It's inhuman. No, it's unhuman. I play Detective Lois Tryon, and she's on the hunt for a serial killer. What the hell, Jack? This isn't a hate crime. I don't know what is. Hate against what? Everything. Everything's spiraling for Lois. She needs somebody in her ear to try and get her out of the dumps and get her away from what's going on in her mind. There's no future after this. This is a show that is open to interpretation. We're living in a woman's mind, and we're living in a woman's darkness. It's bloody, and it's brutal, and it is horrific. This is a calling card to live in an apocalyptic reality. These murder tableaus mean something profound. Sister Megan is a journalist, and she ends up teaming up with Lois Tryon. They become kind of obsessed with solving the puzzle that's set before them. My personal conviction is you are thinking about this in the wrong way. Father Charlie is incredibly charismatic. He's using the church as a tool to move his own personal agenda forward. Spirit of goodness in our community can prevail. But also this character is like a sadist and a masochist and someone who hates himself quite a bit. No spoilers here. I'm in a coma and flashing back and forward. My character is a very charismatic professor and can get the adulation I need from the students that I'm not getting at home. This cynicism, your fatalism, it's... it's corrosive. Forest protection. Ding, ding, ding. You've only got to look at Nurse Red to see that she's not your classic nurse. She's very protective of Marshall and anyone who comes near him. Fight for your man. Do everything you can to preserve his life, his extraordinary mind. My God, this man's a keeper. Excuse me? Nothing is what you think it is. So many questions have to be answered. You just have to be on your toes. <laughs>